Asteroid is on track to make a relatively close call with Earth. Keywords relatively close. In fact, so close that it will uh, come between us and the moon and even closer than major communication satellites. CNN meteorologist Chad Myers is tracking this asteroid for us. Chad, uh, we're talking a pretty short distance, relatively speaking, when it comes to space. Yeah, only 14,000 miles. And uh, that's just a little more than the old cars had for a warranty, that 12-month, 12 12,000-mile 12, warranty. So, yeah, it's going to be very close. It's not going to hit the Earth. We already know that. But what it's going to do, Wolf, it's actually going to come between where our satellites are, even the ones that take pictures for the weather, and you have the geosynchronous Earth, the GPS satellites, fly right by the Earth and right out the other side. So it could impact satellites two different times, but that's unlikely. The satellites are very small. This thing's not very big at all. I mean, comparatively, I don't want to get hit by it. It's bigger than two, let's say, uh, train cars put together, about 150 or 160 or so feet long. It weighs an awful lot. It would do a lot of damage if it did hit, but so far right now, it is not going to hit here. February 15th, this is the closest approach now you would think oh wow can i look at it probably not without a telescope or a really good pair of binoculars it won't be quite that bright for that to happen but the moon is 239,000 miles away this thing's only going to be between 14 and about 16,000 miles from the surface of the earth wolf so b the bottom line uh, chad give us a little perspective bottom line folks are watching uh, should we be nervous not so nervous excited give us a little uh, analysis Maybe excited, <laughs> but you should not be nervous. This is the diameter of the Earth, almost maybe 8,000 miles would just round it up. There's another 8,000 and there's another 4,000. So compared to the diameter of the Earth, it's going to be way out here flying on by. Now, considering that the moon is still another 225,000 miles away, this is a very close brush. And this does come within a few hundred thousand or a million miles of the Earth twice a year. What we don't know quite yet is what the Earth will do to this trajectory, to the orbit. Will it bend the trajectory just a little bit so that the next time it comes by, could it be a little bit closer or a little bit farther away? All those things in 3D space kind of all get your head in a spin, so to speak. It's spinning right now. Chad, thanks very <laughs> much for that. You're welcome, Wolf.